It's one of these things, I ask myself a question whenever I do any part. What is my greatest hope? What is my greatest fear? So I read a script and I don't try to have any, I try not to have any judgment about it. I read through and I think my greatest hope is that Phil Connors would remember me and be my friend. And my greatest fear is that I would be neglected and be alone and be put down. So I used this as kind of a template and I began to read through and kind of work through the part and it just started coming out of my mouth bigger and bigger and bigger and I started doing things, you know, with my hands and like, you know, and, <laughs> you know, all sorts of things started happening. I thought like, oh, am I channeling something? I don't know. And it just started happening and I was having so much fun doing that. Per our conversation, I was thinking that's one thing that'll put uh, directors and casting directors at peace is when the actor appears to be in control and having fun, even if it's completely wrong. So that's what I went with, with the audition. And uh, I, I mentioned at one of our gatherings here, 15 years after we did the show, I went to do a benefit with Danny Rubin in New Mexico and Harold Ramis was there. So I had the opportunity of revisiting the Kurt Fuller story and asking about that. And I said, Harold, how did I get the part of Ned? How did that happen? And he said, Stephen, I knew the instant you came in the room and you started talking that you were going to be our Ned. I called Bill the instant you left the room and said, Bill, we found our Ned. He's the most obnoxious person I've ever met. LAUGHTER